Hello everybody, Princess Casserole here, and I'm here with a, another jewelry jar. Um, well, not really a jar today. I have a jewelry bag, and this is, I know I've told you guys before, it is from my pile of hoarded jewelry bags <laughs> in my craft room. And again, I'm trying to get those... Um, kind of dip into them so I don't have a hoard of them all over. <laughs> but one day I'll probably run out. I hope not. Um, but we'll see. So this is pretty. It is, I've never heard of this brand. Has anyone else heard of this, this brand right here? It's a beautiful looking watch. It's really well made. So again, this is months ago, just twenty nine ninety nine. I have no um, discounts, so I paid the whole amount. This one is genuine leather. It's really nice. I know. Well, you know, I got them a long time ago. Oh, thank you. It's called Green Elevator <laughs> by, uh, made by a local company. So if anyone knows anything about this watch, let me know. But if, I don't even like watches, but this is really pretty. And again, just so I know we're doing this live, I don't, off, I don't say hello to everybody because I feel bad if I can't, if I miss somebody or whatever. Um, but no, I am watching the chat and reading everybody's comments I swear so you guys always have the best information um, this one's also genuine leather it's really pretty quartz watch I will and it has the sticker over it still <laughs> it's like completely new so that will go in my watch hoard which I have no idea I know it's such a shame isn't it uh, mine do, you can still find them every once in a while, but this, this looks like the vic a vintage Mexican silver, um, bangle bracelets, but let me see, I mean, this isn't, I know the color is weird on the inside, but it could also, I don't know. It's cool, though. I really like this a lot. I have several of them. But I like it. If you guys hear uh, banging or anything, it's my my husband's doing dishes because he is a wonderful man. And he does them way quicker than I ever could. I like these bracelets. Um, I know... I don't know if they're still popular. I know they were popular for a while. They went to like a good cause. Um, but they're usually pretty well made. Uh, those are cool. I made dinner today. That's it. Usually we don't fight when I make, make dinner. And he'll do the dishes. But oftentimes when he makes a dinner, he still does the dishes. <laughs> Several bangles here. Oh, I really don't think I like this. <laughs> I will tell you why in a minute. Oh, this is pretty, but this isn't what I was talking about. I'll tell you what I was talking about. <laughs> Do you guys remember? It used to be a big trend where they had, like, fabric. Oh, Um, where they had fabric and then they would put beads in there. That's what this thing reminds me of. I don't see any marks on this guy. He's missing one and some of these. I may have some of those. These are harder to find. This is really pretty. I know. I 
Like I said, every time I saw I should have bought more when I had them. I knew it was probably going to dry up eventually. That's very pretty. Again, these were from many moons ago. I love this one. That is so pretty. And it is a C clasp. So this one's probably older, Victorian, or Art Deco. That's very pretty brooch here. We love that. Let's see. I'll move it over a little bit. I think, let's see. This is so interesting, though, and it's got a tag. Express. This, I would never have ever expected that. This is the weirdest necklace. That's so Madonna, isn't it? Like, whoa. Whoa. That is. My sister went to an 80s party this weekend. That's what this reminds me of. Definitely. This one is not in the greatest of shape, Liz Claiborne. And this one's cute, it's a memory wire bracelet. Very pretty. Oh, there's another one. This one I think is broken though. Oh, it's so pretty though. I love this one. I don't think I've ever seen ones that were painted with people's faces on them. I love that. I wonder if I could fix it, hopefully. All right, what is this guy? I see some words on him. Right? Dude, what do you think? Let's see if he's magnetic. Nope. Ooh, I my test my testers have all been went bad. <laughs> this would be crazy. It's I mean, it's pretty light. That would be crazy, right? Nobody probably would have ever looked at this and thought there's any way possible that this could be 14 karat. Yo. If that is, that's crazy. Yeah, it's marked right here. Let me see if I can show you guys. 14 karat, and it says JS. And the JS is kind of like what is making me think that it could possibly be real. I'm trying to <laughs> try it on my neck. That's. That would be crazy. Wow. I know, I wish they were all like how they used to be because I got so spoiled with these. Thankfully, I still have several upstairs. This one's still working. <laughs> I got this like a year ago. This guy's still ticking. This little Timex. Genuine leather upper. So he's um, leather up there. How cute, right? Again, I know nothing about watches. That's cute. So, I don't think many of my friends watch this. I have a friend, and her daughter is, like, I gave her a jewelry box filled with jewelry, and she was obsessed with it. So I think for Christmas, I'm going to make her, like, I don't think I'll put it in, like, a glass jar, but I was going to give her something like that with things like this and just little pieces that I think she'll like. And I think she'll love it. And I think her mom will love it too. 
because she often will go, I'll let her go through my stuff too, my friend, and uh, she'll pick things out. This is really nice. I can see um, some trendy, trendy people wearing that guy like that. What is that one with this one is really pretty. Yo, I can't even believe that. Like I said, if that's real, that's insane. About this guy. I don't see any markings on this guy. Let's see, he might be magnetic. These are cool though. I like these um torque necklaces. It's not magnetic either. I'll put them to the side. I'm pretty excited. If you can't tell by that excitement in my voice. These are really nice. I like these like brass bangles. They're like you know pretty pretty plain but I think that can be a good thing sometimes. This guy he's cool. Alright hold on one sec. Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that there was no smearing or anything. I saw somebody saying that she couldn't... St Oops! Ah! <laughs> oh. Oh, today. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know. I'm going to get like a billion thumbs down. It's okay. <laughs> so Sorry. Here's another one of those ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can only imagine the comments I'll get after this one. It's okay. We all have fun, right? Nobody's perfect. I can't believe I just did that. That's too funny. This is really into itself. Whatever that may mean. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. All right, let me take this guy off, too. This is really neat looking. I know somebody out there knows about what this might be. It looks like, um, like tie maybe. These are cool beads. And then it's got these glass beads. I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you guys saw, saw my tummy too, I think. That's too funny. This is neat though, isn't it? This actually would have gone with the outfit I wore today. I really like that. I like things that are different, you know? Who wants to be the same? And a little um, dream catcher earring. Ooh, this looks silver. I'm, I'm in shock of the other one. Oh. Is there something missing or no? Please tell me no. Oh, it looks like there's one, one little one missing. I wonder if I could have something put in there. I love it. This is turquoise, and I'm pretty sure it is on. Let me take it off. Yep, I can't take it off. I'm pretty sure it's on a really pretty sterling chain. Yeah, 925. Let me put that in there then. I know I have a lot of um, petite point. That's what this one's called. Hi, Dwayne. Um, petite point jewelry. This one is really like kind of dirty, but absolutely love this. 
And I could probably put almost anything in there if I can take it to my jewelry guy and see if he can do something to it. Because I just absolutely love that. That's beautiful. I know, I, I'm already done. <laughs> That's over, pretty much, you know? Goodness. This is pretty. This is a really pretty vintage rosary. I love vintage rosaries. They're so pretty. The ones that are like crystal or glass. This one's gorgeous. Oh, love it. I think this one's silver too. I don't see any marking, but yeah, red coral, or if they can't find coral, mother of pearl, um, something. I know coral can be hard to find, but the guy that I go to, because he gets a lot of scraps, sometimes he has um, different stones. He had three rubies for something that needed to get fixed, <laughs> and the guy dropped the rubies, so he still got it, like if he finds anything. Hi, Boo. Hi. Child just came home from Christmas shopping. Um, <laughs> um, and so, yeah, he, he, he dropped it, which is kind of funny. This says Sterling on the chain and has this. I think that is so super cute. I used to, used to really collect... Um, suns and moons in the 90s. A little plastic bangle and an, an, a huge avenue watch. So many watches. And a cute little um, infinity symbol. Oh, this guy's a little bent out of shape. That's fun though, right? I like it. This is really, really pretty. Uh, there's a strand missing, but these pearls are in really good shape. You know, I bet um, the pearls for crafting would be so nice. So many times these pearls are just, they're so peeled and scratched. These ones seem very nice, so I'll put that to the side. Yo, what is up with you? Oh, there we go. Is Fringe still in? I don't even know. He's kind of scratchy, though. This one's kind of cute. Pulls, pulls. I like it. Also, looks like something my daughter would wear. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's a one magnet. For your fridge. Oh my goodness, look at this one. How pretty. Good night. I don't know what this one's for. Is that... Maybe it could hook on a ribbon? Could that be? This is very pretty. I've never seen one of these shaped like a heart before. It's really nice. I can't believe there's so many in here. Plastic. It's huge. Another watch. So many watches so many watches. I know it is definitely old. This one, oh, I was going to say it's in terrible shape, but it's got the plastic on it still. Wayne Bryant. I mean, it's not in great shape, but it's weird. I think somebody spilled makeup on it. Earring. Single earring. This is fun. 
I love gunmetal. I don't know if you guys like a gunmetal finish. Like this is so nice and kind of plain. But I like, I like plain sometimes. I don't know about you guys. I know I do. Well, this is fun. This is faux turquoise. But it's a fun piece. I like that. Huge gold hoopies. My daughter said one of her friends really likes big gold hoops. I don't think that's what she meant, but... Oh, look at the pretty abalone. <laughs> Dwayne. That's funny. This is so pretty. I love abalone. Nature creates the best stuff. I just can't even compare, you know, with what we can do. Oh, this is pretty. I hope the other one's in there. It's like a faux tortoise shell or a horn, I think, earring. And another infinity. Oh, that was really weird that that got stuck on one of my actual... An Armatron watch. This is heavy duty. Yeah, let's stick it to that so it doesn't stick to everything. Because, oddly enough, it was sticking to a necklace. I think this might be Crements or something. That's what it looks like to me. Aha! It's freed! No, don't see anything there. Let's see. See, see, see. Oh, I think I see a mark. Let me, let me look. Gold filled. Fourteen karat gold filled. This part is totally sticking to this magnet. That is definitely not gold like in that. Yeah. That's really pretty though. I really like this. It's also vintage looking. I'm pretty sure it is. This Cleborn. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Almost. Oh. Oh, there we go. This is cute. So this is a Liz Claiborne necklace. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, this is a gorgeous. The heck is that? Mm. I think garbage. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, I think it just needs to get cleaned. It is a vintage Napier faux tortoise shell with the like Omega chain and the Napier tag down here. This is so pretty. I like that a lot. It's in pretty nice condition, too. Not perfect, but good. Pretty wood jewelry. And bangles, bangles, lots and lots of bangles. What's a jewelry bag without bangles? That must be a lie. These are pretty. They're, I think they're glass beads. They're knotted in between. It's heavy. I don't know. It's 
very pretty though. Older, it looks like. I like that. Look at this neon. I hope everyone is having a wonderful a day, by the way. The weather around here has not been the best, but it is what it is. Oh, I really kind of love this. It is a very, um, here, let me pull you in without dropping you this time. Um, it's like hot pink. That's super fun. Sometimes I like weird things, and I don't always know why. Uh, plain chain, which is always nice. This guy's fun. There's no markings. There's no missing stones or anything, so that's fun. Alright, what what are we? Yeah, it's so cute. I love vintage brooches. Um, plain necklace. This guy I would assume um some people may want the wood. The wood beads, because they are vintage old wood beads, but they are tied on a shoelace. So, <laughs> that is very pretty. Just, oh, nope. I think these are both sterling silver. Yeah, they're marked, but these ones don't match. The two earrings. Casio Forester light. This one looks heavy duty. Com really good condition. Casio. Again, I don't know about watches. <laughs> Sorry. But I don't. This one's not gold, for sure. <laughs> but it's cute. You could put anything on it you would want. These are... F this is fun. Dot dot. It is leather. Kind of looks is Native American to me. I don't know. Like something I would get at a powwow. And yes, I have gone to powwows. And I do go to powwows. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for lighting the flame if that's a bad thing. If it's a good thing, I'm glad to have you join in the uh, obsession. So this one's not very um, good condition. <laughs> Dwayne, stop it. And then we have this guy. This one is broken. But this would be a great one for um, craft, don't you think? For all the seed beads. Lots of seed beads in there. I can't believe how expensive seed beads are. Oh, these are pretty. They're two abalone shell earrings. I have no idea what this is. Stainless steel. R.I. Renew. No idea. No idea. Let's see. Oh, this is timely. A little snowman. He's got no nose, though. Why is this snowman not got... <laughs> I was going to say not got no nose. Don't know why. This looks silver... Pretty sure it is. It's a little earring piece, but there's only one. Yeah. Oh, look at this. A little juicy couture. Um, I've had this bracelet before. 
doesn't look like any of the rhinestones are missing. It's got the one little is stuck. There's like a little hair on it, but this one's cute. I have had that one before. It's juicy. So that one will go on my Poshmark. So this was actually what I saw that got me to buy this. It totally needs to be cleaned up and some of the things replaced. It had no markings on it because I could see that from the box. Oh, look, and the clasp, it closes when you put it down like that. So it's got a really interesting closure. It's in really good condition. The gold's in really good condition. I don't know. Some of these are gold over silver. Let me see if it's... It's not magnetic at all, but these stones are there, which are the more important ones because these ones right here will be easier to find replacements for. But isn't this so gorgeous? Yeah, 1940s seems about right to me, too. So pretty. That's what I'm trying to do, too. Go through my, my jewelry um, before I buy more. Not all of it though, because I won't ever be buying them. Who am I kidding? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of fun. It's on a leather cord and it says love. I kind of really like that. I know. I say I'll do things and then I'm like, I know I'm not going to do it. I should, but I know I won't. This is so surfers to me. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Dwayne. Thanks for coming. This is fun. I don't think it's fake light or anything. It is a vintage plastic. And it's weird because it's on cord like this. It's pretty cool. I like it. And there is no rhyme or reason as to what I pull out of my bag. I like these bracelets. Oh, hey, it's not a bracelet. It is a watch. And this is also a watch. This one's pretty faded though. But this is cute. Oh, I like that. Oh, thank you. This is glass. I really like this. Oh, there is a lot of beautiful vintage items in this. That's what I, I always loved, because um, I think a lot of people don't, you know, some people don't want that stuff, and I love it. You are loved, and love blessed. That's pretty. I think I got this earring on in a different bag, actually. <laughs> There's a ring. This ring looks silver. It's a little smooshy. Not bad though. I sure it probably says something inside there. I think it's 925. That's pretty. Oh, here's the other one. <laughs> you have to push it out. Boop. Boop. And it opens up like a flower. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, this one's broken. This will be a nice crafter piece, though. Hmm. 
distinctly basics. Oh, I think they're hair bands. Not like the 80s hair bands, like music groups, but like actual headbands. Not like Motley Crue or anything. Ooh, let's see. Move this guy over a tiny bit. Look at this guy. That is so cool. The little, some of the beats are a little faded. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be like that or what. But that's cool. Oh, there's a chestnut. That is the craziest bolo tie. The chestnut in it. Have you ever seen something like that? That's so fun. And this guy's got wooden beads. It's a bow. Hair bands. Oh, look at this guy. This looks like a 1928 piece. Oh, this one's so pretty. Just got like a little rosebud. I love that. Oh, fun. Maybe that's why they used it. I think, is this, ooh, this one's Christian Dior. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one when I've been researching other ones. Okay, so here. There's the signature. This is in perfect condition. See why I was sad when my, <laughs> my bags used to <laughs> started drying up? Because they used to be so good. But... I will be happy with everything that I get. This one is a little um, worn. So is this guy. That's pretty. I don't know. I have a feeling that's a symbol for something. I know it is very classic. This one's pretty. I'm gonna put this aside to see if I can find um, marking on it. There's an earring. And this is a bracelet. This is plastic. It's cute, a couple strand. Hmm. Nope, oh, here's an earring. That's cute. Yeah, Eastern Star, that's it. It's on the tip of my tongue. This guy is just an earring. He's not gold. I've never seen one with gold and then a different color post. I've never seen that before. This guy's plastic. That's fun. So things like that I think I'll throw in that jar for my friend's daughter. This is interesting. This is wood. Um, vintage rosary. Let's see if I can find a mark in this guy. No, I don't see anything. I have a feeling that's a toe ring. <laughs> but we'll look. We'll look closer for a mark later. This one's cute, and I think that that's the C for Charming Charlie, I think. They kind of look like M&Ms, don't they? That would actually be pretty cute on, though, I think. I really want to do a try-on sometime. This is such pretty lace. That would be so nice in a journal or on a painting. I love vintage lace, like, a lot. A little X bracelet. 
So that's super fun. This one's mega worn as well. Now I'm getting hungry. M&M &M necklace. This guy's got many hearts on it. Joy, hope, and love. Let's see. What else have we got here? Oh, look at that's cute. This is a faux turquoise pendant. I don't think it is silver or anything. I know. I just had an um, Anna's cookie. Now I kind of want another one of those. Like Christmas cookies. I don't know if you guys have those where you live. I know it's kind of like a big thing here. The pit sales. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's in really good condition. I also have something in my contact lens. <gasps> See, the saga continues. I don't know how I got something in there. It's driving me nuts, though. Ooh, look at this pretty bead. Wow. That is so pretty. I love glass. So pretty. You could just wear that. See, like... <laughs> I'm rubbing my eye. <laughs> I'll check this guy for a mark. Looks like he might be silver. Um, let me check. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's probably an eyelash. This guy's not. This guy sticks. My toe ring. You guys know who Jay Strongwater is? They sell him at Nemo Marcus. That's cute. I don't get those little mini pictures of my daughter anymore. I assume that might have been what it was for. Let's see. Is this one magnetic, you think? Nope. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. I hate, like, the angles of trying to get your loop in some of these things. Hmm. Says something, but it, it's weird. No, that's not. It. I had to check though, guys. Sorry. I don't think either of them are. I'll put them aside just to double check. Cause, like I said, always double check your um your craft piles, guys. Seriously. I'm a Gleek. I think that's from the movie, right? Or the show. Oh, this one's so pretty. I love that. It's not gold or anything, but it is very pretty. Stick pin. There's a lot of earrings in here. Oh, this one's pretty. If the other one's not in there, I, I will totally turn this into a pendant. Look at how pretty it is. I'm pretty sure it's marked up there, sterling silver. Love this. Dreamcatcher earring. Well, this one isn't marked. This one I think says Monet, or yeah, Monet. And this guy is also not marked. Mm 
There's not much left. It's just some little stuff in here, guys. And for some reason, I'm dumping it in places where I've already looked. <laughs> this guy's not magnetic. He's not magnetic. He's not magnetic. Let's see. That was the other one. Let me see what this says, man. Oh, this does say 10 carat on this one. Let's see what it says on this one. Like I said, always check the backs, guys. Even if... Yeah, they're different, but this one is... They say 10 or 14 carat. Um, because you just never know. And I love having the backs. This one's really pretty. Nice and plain. So I'm actually wearing rings today, guys. Look at that. See, I told you I would keep this one and wear it. And I have... Yeah, this one says 925. That's super cute. Uh, St. Simon Stock. Oh, and there's an earring that is stuck. That is cute. That one is marked 925. Yippee, yippee. There may be a lot of single earrings in here. The little ring. I mean, <laughs> ring. My goodness. You guys know what I mean. These are weird. I have no idea what that is. There's several of them in here. Oh. I had this one from the last time. See what happens when you <laughs> when you don't open everything right away. You find things a while later. Single earrings. In different parts of your house that you'll never find again. But thankfully, I think. I had just most recently opened that one. Um, I cannot pronounce this. Stainless steel. And incline. This one's kind of faded. There's a star. Brooch that I just dropped by accident. I have no idea what these guys are. Probably garbage. I have too many things in my hand. Oh, I got the other one of this guy. That's cute. So we have two of those. And an extender for the pink one. Um, no. <laughs> Um, I always do wash my hands before and after. Don't eat anything while I'm going through. And I disinfect all my earrings before I wear them. This one is so pretty. I have a feeling that that is lake glass or sea glass. And it is a very pretty example of it. It's very pretty. There's no marking though. This is pretty gorgeous. Is this Erica Lyons? Yeah. That's really cute.
this guy. Let's see. <laughs> well, that earring got picked up. Not these two, though. I hope that one's not. This one's pretty. Single earrings. I love this. So I think this one probably matched a bracelet. It's on a screw back. I had only seen this one, but if nothing else, I will love to do something with that. I am putting stuff together to craft. Just trying to organize it. Monet. That one's very pretty. I don't think I have had matches, though. The sky match, though. Yep. Here's this one. So, I have two of those. And a cute little K. Oops. But one of the diamonds is missing. But I think it might actually be in the bag. There is a diamond in the bag. These guys. Well, probably not a diamond. You know what I mean. So a lot of these. I don't know. I'll have to check them out. Lulu. Oh, and this says family. In the USA, somebody must have made that. Oh, here is that ear the brooch back. I'll see if I can put that back in. Um, some bangles. And another one of these guys. I don't know. I I don't know. It does look like silver to me. It's a lot of them. And this one was a pair. So that one nice and silver. What is this? What is this? Oh, Robert Rose. It looks old. <laughs> I was pretty excited. That is cute, though. I think Robert Rose has been making things for a while. Very pretty. And this guy. And so we got some s uh, silver. And another watch. I got a lot of watches in this one, too. Oh, I think maybe I did get some matches. This one's pretty, don't you think? And I did get this one, which is also, like, nice and classic. Um, and that one, too. This one I don't think is sterling. It's just a little mini hoop. Oh, I do have both of these. How fun. These are so pretty. Some bangles. There's so many there's so many different sizes of these too. Indiglo quartz. Looks like it's waterproof or something. Mm. Oh, got two of these guys. Those are nice. And two of these guys. These are super cute. I like these. They're on um, pierced earrings. And what is a jewelry jar without an angel? This one's actually really cute, though. See, what does it say? I don't know. Can't tell. I don't know. I'll have to wipe it off and check, but it's super cute. 
All right. Red dress. Little cherub. Um, there is a hematite. Oh, that's what this is. That is interesting. What is this blue? I can't tell, but this is like a hematite and some blue stone or glass, like rosary. Look at that. That is definitely different. I don't think it's real hematite. Let's see. Oh, it is not magnetic. This one. Not all of them are. Huh. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. I can't tell. This one looks either glass or stone. Can't tell. Very nice, though. And these are just kind of odds and ends. These weird <laughs> red... <laughs> yellow odd things this guy is not very like he's pretty worn ooh so this guy is bent let's try to unbend him here real quick oh and I think He's also, I think he just needs to come down a little bit. Right? Yeah. I will try to fix that later. Because I love these. These are so cool. All right. Oh, and look at, is that the rhinestone for that other one? Bad thing is it has lost its foil. So... That is not good. It's not going to be very useful to us. But that's okay. These look like eggs. And asparagus. <laughs> Fried eggs and asparagus beads. I, that's something. Oh, and then there was this necklace. I don't see. Oh, and here was that other Monet. It's also very classic. Oh, this is fun. So that's this guy. No um, markings or anything, but this is super fun. It reminds me of like snow or something, right? And it's all chain mailed on the back. So that's really well made piece. All right. So, the things I like the most. Let's zoom you guys in for this. I promise I won't. I won't drop it this time. At least I don't think I will. <laughs> you never know. I love this guy. Let me see if I can't fix it or um, move its setting. This one. Uh, this guy. And oh, I just love this. I really do wonder if that is a slide for um, a ribbon. If anyone knows, let me know. I love these a lot. Um, and this guy too. And this one, I'm going to see how much I can fix up. I think it's really mostly just here. That I'll try to remove and replace maybe there. This is a beautiful brooch. Um, the Christian Dior is amazing. So this I, I will probably list for sale on Etsy. And I'm going to see if my jewelry guy can't do something with this one. And this I am going to put something on it. And make it a pendant necklace. Because it is just really pretty. And I like it a lot. And it is definitely big enough 
to be a pendant by itself. These earrings I'm going to try to fix. I do think all of these little baubles here are sterling. I'm not, not 100%, but um, this guy was cute too. And this guy, if he is 14 karat, that is awesome. Um, and there's a couple other really cool things, the juicy and the vintage rosary and stuff like that. And this beautiful bead. I absolutely love this bead. I actually think I might just put this bead on a silver chain and wear it because I'm positive that it is hand blown and it is really cool and I absolutely love it so I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing with me even though I dropped you on your faces earlier I'm so sorry um but please let me know what you like the best um and I do hope to do some more educational videos soon. I have um, also some other ones that I've recorded that I have yet to edit and upload. So stay tuned. You will see more from me. And I, <laughs> I enjoy you guys spending this time with me. I very much appreciate it. And till my next video. Bye, guys.